Okay, so I will be reading from 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 3. And it says, while people are, while people are saying there is, there is peace and security, then sudden destruction will come upon them as labor pains came upon a pregnant woman, and they will not escape. But you are not in darkness, brothers, for that day to surprise you like a thief. For you are children, for you are all children of light, children of the day. We are not of the night or of the darkness. In the name of Jesus. So God is saying that the day of Jesus, the coming of the Lord Christ, our Lord Jesus Christ, is going to be like um It's going to be a surprise. It's going to, that day to you is going to be, it's going to be like a thief. He's going to, so, you know how like, um, a thief breaks in your house and it's unexpectedly, you know, they don't know if you're home. They don't know if you're gone or, you know, you just caught off guard, whether you're home or whether you're not at home. This person just surprises you. It's just one day, boom, they just, they're just there and, you know, they just snatch you up. You know, they just snatch whatever they came for. It says that the day and the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ will be like a thief. The, that day will be like a thief. He is just going to suddenly just appear out of nowhere. And, and, and it says that then that day there, there, people will think there is peace and security. You know, they're, they'll think it's a regular day. You know, we're just going to live our life regular. They're going to think, you know, like, oh, you know, it's just a normal day. Mm -hmm -hmm. And it says, while people are saying there is peace and security, then sudden destruction will come upon them as labor pains come upon a pregnant woman and they will not escape. So whereas today, like now, it's, it's like now I'm making this video, everything is calm. And then boom, next thing you know, everything is in chaos. Everything is destructive. If you've read Revelations, it, it talks about the stars falling out of the uh, sky, hitting the ground. It says that the sky will be sealed up, like a, will be rolled up like a, a seal. It says that um, thick darkness. It will be dark. It will be thick darkness. Um, uh, the, the, you know, the waters will turn into blood and the sun will turn it, be darkened. And it, I mean, you know, so uh, imagine all of that and you see God riding in on the clouds with his, on his, with chariots and horses and his vast army with him. And, 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 airplanes and everything birds whatever in the sky falling out and and oh my god like oh jesus oh my god Ooh, just talking about it. i had to just start talking about it because i'm <laughs> it's is woo it ain't nothing to laugh about that's why this is serious that's why this is um it's heavy it's heavy it's heavy so, so God is wanting us to get prepared because um, you don't want to be not right and not prepared and not see this coming. Like you want to be prepared for you are all children of light, children of the day. We are not of the night or of darkness. So once God has called you into him and to the Lord Jesus Christ, you have repented for your sins and you are now welcome in heaven. You are a child of light. You are not of darkness any longer. It says, so then let us not sleep as others do, but let us keep awake and be sober. For those who sleep, sleep at night and those who get drunk are drunk at night. But since we belong to the day, let us be sober. Having put on the breastplate of faith and love and a helmet and for a helmet, the hope of, of salvation. 
For God has not destined us for wrath, but to obtain salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us, so that whether we are awake or asleep, we might live with him. Therefore, encourage one another and build one another up just as you are doing. So God is saying that we are children of light. We are not children of darkness. We are children of heaven, his heavenly kingdom. We are no longer in the dark. We are not children of Satan. We're, we are not with the opposition. We are not with the other side. And um, he's saying, so if we belong to the day, we are called to be sober, not to be drunk, not to be um, asleep, not to be unaware. This day is going to come like a thief. But but God says that um, he says that this day, though, will not be like a, a thief in the night for us who are in Jesus Christ. This day will not be like a thief because we he, he, he has already revealed this to us and told us this. So we know it's coming and we believe it's coming and we already know of God's wrath. So when this happened, we going to know exactly what's going on. But think about the people who have the veil over their eyes, who are still blind, who are still wicked, who are still satanic, who are still ungodly, who is not seeking the Lord, who is, um, you know, unaware or just ignorant, you know, or, you know, just in sin. And who, think about the people who don't even know. This day will be... A, the living death of them. Like, they will be alive, but they might as well be dead because their whole face is going to be just the fear that they is going to, the fear that they are going to feel is just unimaginable. It's unimaginable. But that day for us who are in Christ Jesus, it will be glorious. It will be glorious. Like, I can't even imagine how much joy we're going to feel when God catches us up, like, it might feel like a dream, like, oh my God, like, it, it just happened, it really happened, like, I mean, I don't know what we're going to be thinking, but, whoo, I'm sure we're going to be happy to be done with what we're going through here, these trials and tribulations, the spiritual warfare, and the persecution, and then none of that, I guess here, is in heaven, none of that is in heaven. Yes, yes, yes. And we will be caught up with our loved ones. And oh my goodness, I don't know about you, but I got this sweet little chocolate, little pretty little grandma out there. This is my little baby. I can see her little ponytail right now. And ooh, and you're going to be caught up and you get to, I get to see my girl. So, yes. Thank you, Jesus. God is good. Hallelujah. So, we are to be sober having put on the breastplate of faith and love and for a helmet hope of salvation we are to be hopeful hopeful looking forward to salvation as christians as children of god thank you jesus in the name of jesus so this is just encouragement an awareness of the day of the Lord. Be strong. Seek God. Repent. Ask for forgiveness. If you don't understand, just ask God. God, if you're real, show me you're real. God, show me the truth. Show me the way. You're never too young. You're never too old. If you are breathing, you have a breath of life, you have a chance. You have an opportunity. Be courageous. Give it a try. No one wants to go to hell. Don't worry about what people are going to say. Worry about your eternity. This is one of the most important decisions you will ever make in your life. For your life. Give your life to the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus said in the Bible, he said, For I am the way, the truth, and the life. We cannot get to God 
except only through Jesus. Jesus Christ of Nazareth only. When I read the Bible with my two eyes, I seen Jesus Christ. I didn't see nobody else's name of that was the way but Jesus. Make the right decision. I plead the blood of Jesus Christ over you. In the name of Jesus, that you give God your life. Jesus died. Died for us. Let me tell you something. Do you know how afraid majority of us are to die? And, and Jesus was afraid also. It was a heavy thing for him to carry. But he went through with it. For somebody to die for you. And then on top of that, most importantly, to die innocently and cruelly. Like the worst possible way. Like, think about this. Nobody has ever died in the fashion of Jesus Christ except for the other two people who died with Jesus Christ. That was crucified on the cross also. I mean, the way that the, he died on the cross, what he had to endure, We are called to endure as well for that very reason. It's a price we must pay. It's a price, but the price is, is righteous. It is righteous. It 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 it, it, it balances it, it balances out because of all the history of human beings and our disrespect and our neglect. For God, for forsaking him, for our sins, for our living wicked, it costs, it costs to carry the cross, it costs not money, it costs blood, sweat, tears, trials, tribulations, hard times, suffering, of many kinds, but if we suffer with Jesus, Jesus is faithful to sit us in heavenly places so that we may reign with him. It says that if we Anyone who tries to save their life will lose it. But anyone who loses their life will save their life. So if you're trying to save your life, you just like, oh, I only got one life to live. Look, huh? it's about to be lit, baby. I'm about to take all the chances I can take. I'm about to do whatever I got to do. I'm going to go do this one time. No do-overs is up. You don't want to get God no time, no quality time. You don't want to give him no conversation. You ain't trying to hear nothing he's trying to say. You have free will. He's going to give you your choice. He's going to let you live your life how you want to live. Then after that, in the physical, when you die, you will <clears throat> die eternally. So if you try to save your life, you won't live the physical life, but die and die eternally, which means you will be sent to hell. But if you sacrifice, if you endure, if you pray, if you seek God, if you ask for forgiveness, if you repent, if you allow God to work in you, his Holy Spirit, and to show you and teach you, and work in you to change you to walk with God. If you sacrifice the time on earth getting here to do God's work, 
You're not worried about doing this or doing that or doing this or doing that. You're worried about being about Jesus Christ and his business. And if you out here, you trying to save souls. If you trying to do whatever God has called you to do. And that's the only thing that you focus on. Your reward shall be heaven. I don't know about you. But we all want that reward. But we have to behave like that's what we want. And start moving and showing that's what we want. Making a difference. When I was younger, my mother always told me not to be a follower. Be a leader. I'm a Leo. I'm very bold. I have the qualities to lead. I have a spirit of boldness. But you don't have to be a Leo to do that. All you have to know in your mind is who who are you. And a lot of times we don't know who we are. If we don't know who we are, Satan can tell you who you are. He'll make you believe whatever he wants you to believe. He can implant anything in your head because you don't know who you are. You don't know who you belong to. You don't know what this is about. You don't know why you're here. Think about this. Have you ever just thought about like, what really is life? Like, this is kind of weird. Like, we just all of a sudden just exist. Like, what? Like, have you ever really thought about that? Like, what is this? Like, just think about that right now. Like, I'm in my house. What is the house? I don't close or close. Like, it's just like, we're here for a reason. Is where I'm getting at. You got to figure it out. And we try to figure it out, but we just try to figure it out in the wrong ways, with the wrong resources. Just ask God to show you. Just ask him to show you. God is faithful to do so. God says, so then if you seek me, and if you seek me with your whole heart, man, body, and soul, with everything in you, then you will find me. So if you pray, you cry out to God, you ask for repentance, you ask for forgiveness. If you confess that you believe Jesus Christ is the Lord and that he came and he died on the cross and he rose again in three days and is now seated at the right hand of, the, of God in heavenly places. Above every kingdom, every dominion, every principality. If you ask God to come into your heart. If you ask God to remove the veil from your eyes, if you ask God to give you understanding, if you read his Bible, his word, I'm sorry, the Bible, the Holy Bible, if you ask God for understanding, if you reach out to those who have tried to come into conversations to talk to you about it, if you start asking questions, inquiring, when, once he see his picture interest, he's going to help you. He's going to help you. It can be frustrating at first, but you'll get it. Stay at it. Stick with it. This is for your soul. Your family. Let me tell you something that I realized. You know, a lot of people are watching us. A lot of people is watching you. And you don't even know they're watching you. I say a lot of people are watching you because think about this. A lot of people are judgmental of our life's decision. They can tell you everything that you've ever done, good or bad. How is it that they know this stuff? Because they keep up with it. They're watching you. So what are you showing? What are you displaying? Who are you living for? 
Are you an inspiration to people? Are you seeking God? Or are you leading your little cousins, your nieces, your nephews, your children? What are you showing them? What are you leading them? What are you showing them that it's okay to do? Who it's okay to be? We don't live for ourselves. You got people watching you. And most importantly, besides people, we got God watching us. It says that God sees all, all, everything, all, even this, our deepest, dark, darkest stuff that we think in. He knows about it. Listen, it's time to get to confessing and repenting. That day is going to come. The day of the Lord Jesus Christ is going to come like a thief in the night. Nobody knows but God. A lot of us are dying young. Clock is ticking. Let's get to it. In Jesus' name I pray, Lord God. Amen.